Filled up on Moe's, and it was time to head back to the hotel for some pregame before the club tonight. And by pregame, I mean happy dad pregame. Like a happy dad, I happily pulled out my case of happy dad and slammed one after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. Yes, I slammed five happy dads. That's my count. And sure, I felt a bit tipsy. What's my review of the happy dad? Well... It's pretty good. It's not like the best thing in the world, but I'm telling you, for a group of YouTubers that have been in the prank industry and never in the liquor industry, I'm freaking impressed. These guys have taken all the bubbliness out of White Claw and Truly. I'm not a big fan of seltzers, so I'm happy it's not as bubbly. And instead of the bubbliness, they put in some more flavor. And by flavor, I mean like an aftertaste. At first, when you're drinking it, it's kind of like a little bit of seltzer water. But then once it goes down and you take that big gulp, you feel feel the taste in the back of your throat. For the lemon lime, for example, you drink it, you take a big gulp right after you feel like some lemon lime in the back of your tongue. It is nice. It's very refreshing, actually. Kyle was talking about the electrolytes in one of the Nelk videos, and I'm telling you, the electrolytes are there. If you have experience with liquor, I highly recommend you try Happy Dad. Let me know what you think. The other boys were drinking their stuff. I think Alex had some tequila that he brought. John had Jack Daniels. Henry had some beers. It was a great time. At the same time as we were drinking, we got our costume. On. I'm going to show you the costume tomorrow. It's pretty simple. We threw the mustaches on with it. And once we were all set, it was time to head to the club. Our plan for getting to the club was two different groups. In the first group, it was going to be people riding in my car. My car would park in the garage, and then a sober person, either Henry or Wayne, would drive us back to the hotel after. The other car was going to take an Uber. So when it was time to go, me and the boys in my car, we went. We found a parking garage. We listened to loud music like Peppas on the way there once we parked we walked on over to the club now i don't know if this is a club club on the daily it's called royale boston i think it might be a hotel with a big banquet room that they might be using to host this halloween party i don't really look into it at all i don't really care we got really lucky because while we're walking to this club we meet the other group of guys and we're all together so we all get in line together and i'm surprised to see that this line is like going quarter of a mile down the street it is popping as a matter of fact, one of the security guards comes out and says, Hey, tickets are sold out, so if you haven't got a ticket, you gotta go. At that point, I'm like, damn, this is gonna be freaking popping. Let's freaking go! And you know what it is? As soon as we walk in, the crowd is insane. They got a huge stage with a big dance floor right in front of it. Kind of looks like a mosh pit. And then in the back, they got a couple different bars you could get drinks at with people mingling. On the sides and upstairs, they also got some balconies that people People can look over at what's going on then behind the mosh pit and between the bar there's like this lady hanging on a hula hoop that's coming from the ceiling it's not like a stripper it's like a hula hoop stripper i don't know how she's doing her thing or if she's gonna fall but that was really cool i get myself a corona matt hamill gets himself two coronas the other boys get their stuff and then we hit that mosh pit area and we stay in the mosh pit the whole night now when i go to clubs i'm kind of there to vibe with the music i really like music and i really like dancing so that's my primary goal when I go to clubs. In the back of my mind, there's always the thought like, yeah, I'd like to pull a girl. But at the same time, like, my club game is horrible. First of all, I'm not super tall. I'm 5'11". I'm not going to lie and say that I'm 6 feet. Normally, guys that succeed in the club are these really tall guys because girls, when they're drunk, they love looking up to a dude and thinking dirty thoughts. I'm not one of those guys. You know who are those guys? Matt Hamill, who's over 6 feet. Roddick, who's like 6'4", and Alex, who's 6'5". They're the ones who can run that game. For me, my game is more talking. Now, since I've been doing this business stuff and nursing, like, I don't really have many girls that I'm talking to. I'm going to just focused on this. Do I even want a relationship at this point? Probably not. It would be nice. I'd prefer somebody that's willing to help with like this business and at the same time I can help them do their thing. I kind of like that exchange. It's like a partner you can depend on. Also, you might not have to pay them if you set those rules. Like the thing Mark Kanopka does with his girlfriend, like she helps him out a lot. That's what I would like. Do I want something that's super clingy and like you gotta hang out every night and cuddle and just like make out all the time? Mm, not really. I don't think that's super productive at 
all. Plus, it gets boring real quick. I think you should make it, like, scarce. That way, you keep it interesting, you know? But obviously, you know, girls have different thoughts about that. So you just gotta find the one that's got the same opinion as you do. So back to this whole club game thing. Like I said, my game is more talking to girls. I think I'm good at talking to them. However, in a club setting, you, you just can't talk at all. The music's too loud. The DJ's saying, throw your effing hands up every five seconds. Pepas is playing and you'd prefer to listen to Pepas than to listen to the girl's responses if you're not interested in her. So, there's nothing I can really do. I kind of just look around, see if I can make eye contact with somebody. And after a while, I'm just too drunk to comprehend what's going on. So I just start nodding my head and vibing to the music and watch people do their thing. You know who does pull though? Roddick. Roddick pulls a girl and then Alex pulls a girl. Good for them. I'm very proud of them. I don't know what they did. I wasn't watching what they did really because I was super freaking drunk. But by the end of the night, I saw one of them like making out with the other one and the other one doing the same thing. I don't want to go into too much detail because that's their private thing. But you know, it was great to see. I'm very proud of them. I'm not going to talk about what happened later that night because it's not my place to say it. If it was about me, then I would say it. But let's just say that some people had a good time. The car situation on the way back was kind of tricky because somebody had to go somewhere but we figured it out and everything we ended up making it back to the hotel i tried to get to sleep right away but that didn't work i was way too energetic like even though i was drunk i had too much energy because i took a nap in the car when we were dropping somebody off somewhere and that really bit me in the butt because henry started snoring like a madman henry has the loudest snore i've ever heard in my life it is like the sleeping giant hiking trail awakening from its 50 hundred year slumber i don't even know how to describe the sound it's kind of like a whale moaning that's all i can really say if you've ever listened to a whale do its moaning thing or its sonar thing whatever where it goes that's what henry sounded like but at the same time it was kind of like a pig snorting it was like the deep moan of a whale and the snorting of a pig combined i can't even repeat it because i don't snore at least i don't think i snore surprisingly though henry doesn't really sleep that deep so at one point i yelled shut the f up and for some reason henry stopped snoring he didn't really respond so i don't know if it was like a subconscious awakening but it helped me get to the point where i could actually fall asleep and that was about it for the night super compact information because a lot happened today the club, it's kind of just like one thing happened. It was some people got these girls, and then it was the rest of us dancing the whole time. Like, I didn't get a bunch of rounds of drinks. There was good music playing. They had a costume contest, and we watched that happen. Other than that, not much else really happened. Actually, John actually got to dance with a girl. This is John's first time, I think, dancing with a girl. She, like, came to our group, and then John started dancing with her. I don't know what happened after that. I don't know how they danced. I don't think it was grinding, but it was, like, hand-holding and stuff. And then they went to the back or something. I don't know. I was mostly in the front by the stage the whole time vibing it out so yeah that's day two of the boston trip can't wait to tell you about day three tomorrow till then peace